amongst all the different kinds of food out there, there's always been one kind of food that's just that stood out to me. British food. Whether it's the spotted dick, haggis, or gillied eels, British food has always seemed so weird and wacky to me. The dishes don't look that appealing, the names sound like a monster from Dragon Quest, and they're just weird. Or that's what I thought, anyway, until I discovered what I consider to be humanity's greatest invention, the chip buddy. In all seriousness though, why? Just why would you eat this? You'd think that this was just an old dish that people used to eat back in the good old days, but no, people still eat them to this day, and they love it. <clears throat> just caught home with a bag of chips and a roll for a comforting chip buddy, hashtag British classic. Today he calls for a chip buddy, hashtag sorry not sorry. Just ran 9 miles after working overtime at work for 12 hours. I deserve this chip buddy. After reading these tweets, I was left scratching my head out of confusion. Is it genuinely tasty or are they just eating it because it's a cheap dish? And from that point onwards, I started researching the origins of the buddy and why it's so popular. This may not be 100% accurate, but just bear with me. The chip buddy was born in Lancashire at Britain's second ever fish and chip shop, Mr. Lee's, in 1863. The shop quickly became known for its chip barms, which is another name for the buddies. But it just sounds stupid and somehow even less appealing than buddy. Anyway, the chip buddy was primarily consumed by the people of the working class in the north of England, presumably because it was simple and cheap to make. I mean, you know, the workers weren't exactly making bank at the time. While Lancashire is what most consider to be the dish's official birthplace, there are other places that lay claim to the buddy, such as Liverpool and Ireland, and not to mention Yorkshire, which is the origin of the word buddy, which is slang for butter. I don't really see why you'd use buddy instead of butter, because, because it just sounds weird. Like, Oi Winston, do you mind passing me the buddy over there? The buddy is also a big part of Yorkshire life, as the soccer club Sheffield United's official football chant, the Greasy Chip Buddy song, which became their official chant all the way back in 1985, was obviously named after the buddy. The song, the song glorifies and cites everything the city has supposedly created, from the good old buddy to a gallon of magnets, uh, whatever that is. Debates aside, however, the buddy's actual birthplace isn't really that important. What really matters though, is what it means to the places where it's a staple, such as Yorkshire. The memories and the joy of its simplicity. Not the joy of its taste though, apparently. It's a proudly working class dish, and whenever the chip buddy is mentioned, so is the idea of classes as well. Which I assume is to remind the stupid kids nowadays of its humble background. Even so, the history doesn't really explain how it's holding up even to this day. Researching the history left me unsatisfied and I needed a better answer as to why people enjoy it so much. So, what better way to find out than by trying one myself? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Hey, um, I got the ingredients. Um, I also got some ketchup because I've seen a couple pictures of uh, people putting ketchup in it. Um, probably to make it, you know, um, less dry, I guess. Because it'll be really dry if it's only chips and bread. And I also didn't um, have any white bread or loaf. So this will have to do. Um, I mean, bread is bread, you know. It's just a ray um, version of a chip buddy, I guess. So we'll put some chips on here. And please bear with me, I have never done this before. So this will look like dog shit um, once I'm done. I think it's like this, right? Just put it like that, and I think that's about enough. Um, I've got some, uh, what's it called? I forgot. Pepper and stuff on it. Um, but I don't think that'll affect the taste too much. And I'll put on some ketchup. Not too much, of course. I think that's enough. And then we'll put the God. We'll put the 
lid on top. Oh shit, I think that's not okay. Yeah, the lid on top. It doesn't really look that um appetizing to be honest. Especially because of the bread I'm using. Yeah, it's it's not really pretty at all. But 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 um we'll see, we'll see. Um how do I do this? Uh, okay, I'll just try to eat it off camera and then I'll um, share my thoughts on it. I guess this is gonna be really messy. Oh, here we go. Already starting to mess up. Okay, let's go. It's not actually that bad. I mean, it's kind of weird to eat it with um, bread, but it's not bad, you know? Like if someone ordered um, a chip buddy and then just gave it to me or, or something, I, I can't see, I can't really think of any scenarios where um, I'd eat one, but like, I wouldn't say no to one, you know? It's like, um, it's right in the middle. It's nothing too special. But it's not bad either. It does look like shit though. It, it really does. It's really ugly. You know? It, it's disgusting to look at. But the taste isn't that bad. Um, so yeah, if I had to rate it uh, on a scale from 1 to 5, I'd say it's around a 3. Um, also, uh, my apologies for the shitty... Um, Recording because this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So yeah Damn, I did not expect that at all. I was lucky kind of nervous as I was recording it because I was expecting to just Vomit all over the damn table, but no, it wasn't even half bad So yeah, the chip buddy pretty awesome not gonna lie If you made it this far, then I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, if you like this kind of content, feel free to leave a like. And if there's something I could have done better, then just comment down below as I'm open to any kind of feedback. And since I'm currently experimenting with my content, um, it's just that much more important, I guess. Anyway, that's about it. See ya.